Well, joining me now is Rob Harrison, who owns a farm in Gloucestershire and supports the cull. Also, James Yates, who is the RSPCA's chief vet, joins me now. Gentlemen, thank you for coming on the programme tonight. Rob, let's start with you. I mean, what effect has bovine TB had on your farm? So, unfortunately, we've been shut down with bovine TB um, quite a few times over the last five years. And over, over when the, you say shut down, what do you um, mean? Well, when you've got bovine TB in your herd of cows, unfortunately, you're, you're unable to trade, so you can't sell any animals. Or make um, money. Or make, yeah, essentially. I, like, I'm fortunate as a dairy farmer, I can still sell my milk. Um, but unfortunately, if, you, if you're a suckler herd, then you wouldn't be able to sell your animals. Um, and again, I can't sell any calves. Um, over, I, you know, again, I've been fortunate. I have been shut up a few times. Um, the most I've lost in, in any one test is, is five animals. Um, and I've probably lost about 30 animals in total. And heartbreaking to see these animals destroyed, no doubt. Yeah, well, you know, obviously you work with these cows every day. Um, you know them all personally, and it's um, you know it's really upsetting when when you when you see the, the waste of these cows having to go. And when you get the, the human story, James, it's heartbreaking to see how this is affecting farmers. So a lot of people don't understand why you and the RSPCA would be against a cull like this. No, absolutely, and extremely sympathetic to farmers. I think it it, it is, of course, tragic, and it's both for the cows. We don't want those to be killed. For the farmers, we don't want to have the the tragedy of of going down. The question is not really whether it's against farmers and badgers or cows and badgers, it's that we don't think the cull will work to tackle TB. So it's it's about whether we want to do something that will actually be, be useful or whether we want to kill thousands of, of badgers that won't help. Why don't you think it will work? The evidence suggests it will uh, have a very small, uh, unmeaningful uh, contribution. That's what the independent scientific group uh, came up with. There are alternatives. There's badger vaccination. There's okay, other pick cattle. Up on that. Bad, badger okay. vaccination will not work on the basis that, one, you've got to have, um, but vaccination doesn't work on infected species, so on infected badgers. So if we've got, um, in endemic areas, probably a third of badgers have TB, or up to a third. Um, so all of those, vaccination wouldn't work. It only works w when, it's, when it's naive. And even then, vaccination is probably only proven to be about 60% effective. Although we still okay. then have the problem, if you're killing uh, a load of badgers, what you're left with is still badgers with TB. In fact, there's some evidence that those badgers that are left will have more TB. So unless you kill all the badgers so that there are none, which no one's suggesting and we, no. we would hope not, you're still going to be leaving badgers. If those populations get big, they're still going to have TB. But vaccination has the chance of eradicating TB from the badger population they completely. Are, they're vaccinating in Wales, aren't they? They've started vaccinating Wales, and it's costing approximately £662 a badger. They don't know how many badgers they've caught. They don't know whether they're going to... They've got to catch the badger every single year. So you need to essentially catch the badger and cage them. Now, a can vaccination... We afford, and can we afford that as a country? £600 a badger? No one wants them to die, but can we afford that well, realistically? Surprisingly, ac actually, the estimates for how much it costs to cull badgers, if you include the entire costs, the estimates, estimates for that have varied between 1,000 to well over 2,000. So it sounds like it's, it's cheaper just to shoot a badger, but actually, if you add it all up, it's more expensive as well as being less effective. Okay, let's bring in some tweets from our viewers. From Jean Haynes says, the protest against the slaughter is growing. UK shoppers will soon be voting by not buying British produce. Uh, Joanne Buckley says, it's not a cull, it's an extermination. Vaccination of badgers is a credible alternative. The government won't listen. And on that note, Rob, are you concerned by the groundswell of opinion that seems to be against what um, you're doing? Not really, because um, when they did a survey a couple of months ago, I think they found that about 66% of people um, actually were either not that bothered or, you know, supported the cull. So what obviously that there is a... protesters on your land? What will you do? Um, well, obviously, I'd ring the police. Um, like, uh, my, the cull isn't on my land. It, you know, I don't farm an area where, where the cull is um, taking place. In West Gloucestershire, Gloucestershire, it will be, though, Yeah, it? so it's in, it's in West Gloucestershire. Um, and the fact that people will turn to produce from abroad, if you look at other countries, the only um, way that you control TB is by controlling it in the wildlife. And they're already doing that in Ireland, in New Zealand, and other countries. Um, so badgers are being controlled right across Europe. And actually, we're probably alone in the fact that we're not doing anything about the wildlife reservoir. James? I mean, obviously, on the looking at the different countries, they're very different situations with very different uh, wildlife. So one is possums, one is deer, one is bison. They're very different to badgers. Closer to home, we've got Scotland, who uh, eradicated TB without um, okay. a badger cull. But, but and, Scotland and, didn't have any TB in the first right. place. We have to if wrap look, this up, I'm afraid, gentlemen. But James, just quickly, does the RSPCA support these protesters, including some of them who are more militant? Can be uh, sympathetic with, obviously, their aim to, to not have the cull, but would be strongly opposed to any harassment, any violence. There's, there's no place in this on a, on a debate where we have the moral high ground. Gentlemen, thank you very much for talking to me tonight.